Hi Capricorns, getting right into your September month of love reading, seeing what comes out for you this month, Capricorns. Please note that this reading may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, that is okay. Please go to your next victory, whether that is your sun, moon, rising, or a Venus signs, Capricorns. All right, so your energy is coming right out for the month of September. You're working on something. Someone is going back and forth wherever they want to try to work things out with you. And this is their karma, right? A lot of you are um, taking a leap of faith when it comes to love with the full and the death card. It could be dealing with the Scorpio. You're transforming um, from an ending here. As you can see, we're having all major arcanas on uh, below with the full, the death card and temperance here. Judgment is here. Karma is coming in because it's clearing things out for you. Things are bouncing out in your favor. Um... This person can't move on until they speak to you is what I'm getting, Capricorns. Or you're refusing to move on until you just figure out what you want with the Page of Pentacles. Someone wants to communicate. You might get a random text or phone call, Capricorns, this month with the Two of Pentacles. This person is going back and forth or rather they want to risk on um, coming forward, taking you back. Could be dealing with a Taurus, another earth sign, like I said. You don't trust this person, which is why you just want a new beginning, or you just you just want to embrace your singleness, you're blocking any kind of commitment, because this person disappointed you too many times, Capricorns, and this is their karma. Like, this energy is done. Karma is here to balance things out, where this energy is no longer. So a lot of you are just working on your career, your business goals for this month. The stability that you crave can come in but you have to be able to let um, the things that did not work out go if you want an opportunity for new love because if you don't you're going to keep blocking yourself and this new path towards your happiness here the sunlight isn't going to happen right because you're not working on that it's like you want long term ability but you haven't moved on from the past this person wants that but they feel like you haven't moved on from the past so let's see why the Knight of Pentacles, ooh, wow, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles wanted to come out. Yeah, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, which is why I feel like you're going to get a random call or text here. They want to stop the pattern of the silent treatment of you guys not speaking. Capricorns. The Three of Pentacles is here. They could be drinking a lot. Like I said, you might get a drunk phone call or a text from them about them feeling conflicted here in their feelings. Um, they're going to be very blunt on how they feel, how they, like, they feel like they lost you. Yeah, it's one of Flames energy for sure. There's a strong pull towards each other. But again, they don't know if you're going to take them back. We have the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And I was like... You're kind of being the runner now, runner and codependent relationship for intimacy, listening to e listening to ego, looking at your photos, missing you a lot, trying to make new memories, healing from heartbreak, freedom or toxic relationship or addiction. So um, they're chasing after you while you're running, missing you, looking at your photos and you're having freedom here. You're like, no, like I'm the queen of Pentacles for a reason. There's no second chances. So I'm for you to grow up and move on. To be dealing with the Sagittarius, they cannot let you go. It's hard for them. It's very, very hard for them. What does this person want to say to you for my Capricorns? You came closer than anyone. The timing just wasn't right for us. I am grateful for this spiritual lesson. And I can't stop thinking about you exactly. <laughs> they cannot at all. We have Queen of Pentacles here, energy. There you are. Yeah, you made a choice to love yourself, and that's that's what it is. That's your judgment. That's your karma. You know, this is your um, good karma that's trying to come in for you. It's like justice has been served on both ends. Clarify the two of wands energy. Yeah, no going back. Ten of wands in the hermit in reverse. You're done. Time is up for this relationship, but they're going to try again. You see, we have the fool and the death card with the nine of cups and the death. They have, they, they're going to try. They're going to try one more time. You're done. You're taking your leap of faith, moving on, embracing being single. But look at this. They're going to try one more time. Instead of going to give you the justice that they think you want, but nah. You have a brand new beginning that's coming in. Once you move on from this person, you might be dealing with a Leo. 
I mean, I feel like it's going to be hard for you to heal from this. You know, the full moon in Pisces, Pisces on September 20th is going to give you this clarity that you need. You're kind of holding the Ace of Swords, but those sleepless nights are going to be over for this month. You know, it's, and it's like you're learning that lesson, right, Capricorns? You're pouring this love into yourself. You know that you deserve better. You have obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, because I feel like you're feeling this person energy, uh, Capricorns. We have you can be completely open with this person, express how you feel. It is safe to trust in this situation. So yeah, this is a learning test for you as well, Capricorn. Just speak up on what you want and don't be afraid to reject this person. They're not giving you what you want. We have look for a sign. Abundance is coming your way for this month. Again, it's time to start that pattern now and forgive yourself and this person because there's a ton of pentacles that is trying to come in but the knight of wands is showing up in reverse why is knight of wands here yeah they're holding back i i feel like they're gonna tell you that they're done being this pair of like energy because they knew what it was like to lose you but the ten of pentacles and the five of swords and reverse with the page of wands i feel like you're gonna leave them out in the code right you're gonna abandon them now it's like karma has um Gave you gave you the opportunity to ghost this person, right? It's kind of like you're reaping what you're sowing at the moment. Because the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, as soon as I say that, there's karma. <laughs> karma is showing up for them. You know, wow. All right, all these cards wanted to come out. Yep. You got the last laugh. And I, who, what rating was that with the last laugh that I just captioned? Because this is happening for you, Sue Capricorns. You got the ability to um, work on these um, being let down the code goes to the abandonment issues by by tearing down this five of pentacles, right? Because this is what you're feeling right now. Kind of um, thinking about what's ahead here and how you're going to date again, but it's time to work on yourself. You're focusing on these three of pentacles. I feel like you're trying to do that, Capricorns. Um, this is your energy. So there's a lot of healing that's so needed to uh, be done. And, and, and I feel like you're, you definitely are going to get that. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, that's the energy that <laughs> I was getting. Clarify your devil energy here, Capricorns. With the Five of Pentacles and the Chariot. It's like I coulda, shoulda, woulda, and I didn't. Love. Yeah, pour this love into yourself. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Heartbroken, deeply sad, separation, breakup, feeling the loss, grieving, mourning. Yeah, like I said, there's still pain that's there. You both are trying to heal. You feel like you were strung along, but it's time for you to take this lesson and make healthier choices in your life. I know you guys are probably like, why is there a hole in my shirt? <laughs> we have making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. It's time to choose you first, Capricorns. It's time. Because you can get exactly what you want. And I feel like you're, tr you're trying to trust this path of, you know, embracing your independence. And that's what you're going to do and learn for the month of September. This is your brand new chapter that's happening for you, Capricorns. But it's all in how you manifest here. Anything else for my Capricorns? Yeah, High Priestess, you're not following your intuition. It's kind of like you want this stability here, but you want the universe to give it to you. And it's not until you choose the path to follow um, what you want in life. You can think and dream about this beautiful family stability and love that you want all, all day. But if you're not making those choices to get this for a while, to get your stability back, your independence back, and, um, this new start for you is not going to come in with a real card right it's time for you to lower these defenses on yourself and use this new moon energy in virgo to organize what you want in your life leave these clips behind because you feel a new path that's coming in so by the time the full moon on september 20th comes in you'll be able to clear this out and end september on a good note all right i'm gonna leave it there capricorns and have a wonderful week